Wait one second. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Is it just me or these boxes just get heavier and heavier? Whoa, what is this? The Roblox S6 factory? I'm just mind blown. It finally arrived at my doorstep. So thank you Roblox for sending me out this unit. I'm super excited to try it out and show you everything that this robot has to offer. Well, you guys may know that this guy has a front facing camera. That's all the rage these days. Front facing cameras on robot vacuums for 2020 is the new norm. Well, this guy has two of them. Yes, two. So it can actually navigate around objects efficiently with two stereo cameras. Just mind blown. Okay, so this has that AI optical avoidance. Also has increase of suction, 2500 pascals. Also has a slight increase of battery life. I believe it's 150 minutes. Some say it's 180 minutes, but I'll definitely put the correct specs right here. I'll put the website specs somewhere over there somewhere. Kids, don't play with scissors. Part one, two, three. Whoa, what is this guys? You guys see this? Here's my new hat. Yep, I had one for the S6. Very cool. Power cable. So here's the adapter plate for the mopping system. Actually applies some pressure down on the mopping pad, so I'm excited to try that out. Instruction manuals. Uh, I guess I could show you the instructions this time. So guys, make sure you read that. More instructions. Looks like we got an extra filter. A uh, boxy thing. Hope I don't drop this thing. Get this out of here. Whoa! Wow! Look at this, guys. Do a quick 360. This is amazing. I don't know what to call it. Is this like air vents or something? Very unique design. I like that they went back with the three button design. The home button, the power button, and you also have a spot clean button. Very nice feature. I like that. There's that signature light on sensor with the pressure sensor. And you got the front facing camera. Let's go ahead and get that open for you guys. So, see the little warning sticker right there? Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get that removed. Wow, I can see you. Okay, here's a quick look underneath the robot. I'll definitely compare it to the other Roblox models shortly. Lastly, looks like we got the charging dock. Very nice. One thing to know is this charging dock is smaller than the S6 charging dock. And it does work overseas, 100 to 240 volts. So just make sure you get the adapter for the correct country. That's everything in the box. I'll do a quick comparison and we'll demonstrate this robot for you guys. Cool. Hey Jamie, I know you've been asking about Bob Shark. Well, I got the Bob Shark right here. Hold on one second. Okay, let's go ahead and start with my favorite challenge, which is the navigation challenge. So the Roblox S6 Max V on the right, and the Roblox S5 Max on the left. Roblox is one of the few models that can recognize objects in real time. Both robots have the latest firmware updates, so one thing to know is the S5 Max just recently got the ability to update its map if you physically move it to a new floor plan, kind of like the S6 Max V, so no longer do you have to worry about what floor plan the robot's on, it can automatically do that. So already, this is no fluke, the Roblox S6 Max V is clearly in the lead here. So it's powered by a Qualcomm APQ8053 processor chip, which is about 50% faster than the Roblox S6. And with the new stereo camera system, it can recognize scales, pedestals, power strips, footwear, and also there's a mode in the vacuum settings, which allows it to recognize pet feces. The reason why Roblox chose two cameras is kind of like how humans see, we have two eyeballs. Well, this is the same concept, the robot can now see depth. So this allows the robot to see objects as small as 2 inches wide and 1.1 inches tall. According to Roblox website, this robot can safely work its way around forgotten toys, pet bowls, misplaced cups of morning coffee, ideal for busy homes. Okay, so take a look at this chair leg. You can see that on either side of the robot, it's actually touching the wire chair leg. So the robot has to use its finesse to wiggle its way through, but it manages to do that. And so does the S5 Max. So it looks like the S6 Max V is on its home stretch onto the master bathroom, whereas the Roblox S5 Max is trying to squeeze its way through. Okay, so the S6 Max V is done and the S5 Max is about halfway through the obstacle course. 
And if you worry about privacy, Roblox says nothing is ever duplicated, nothing is ever stored, and nothing is sent to the cloud. I think that's included in the box. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Yep, see my like pillar right there? Yes, that really helps out this video. So here's everything that's included with the robot. It comes with the robot itself, comes with the mopping system. Great for when the robot's done mopping, it sits on this charging dock without it putting water on your floors. You also have an extra filter. The mopping system looks very similar to the S5 Max mopping system. Also, you have the charging dock, the power cable, and the instruction manuals. Whoa, I got a sack of shit, guys. Yes, literally, I have a bag of poo or whatever. No, this is not real. It's fake. The S6 Max V is one of the first commercially available products that can successfully navigate these objects and recognize them by its camera. And yes, it does recognize poo. One thing to note is the robot did forget where the poo was at at the very end of this challenge. But that's just one thing that Roblox can work on. And hopefully over time with its reactive AI system, it will just get better. Okay, so for the pickup challenge, we're going to use hair. We're going to use powder, candy, small beads, and also almonds and some rice. Okay, so I'm going to take a different approach in testing. For my pickup challenges, I'm actually going to use the used filter, dustbin, extractor bar, and side brushes. Yes, I actually had this robot clean up my entire house once. I also did some pickup challenges with this type of material in this dustbin. So the reason behind this is not everyone's going to have a brand new filter and consumable items. So this will help evaluate the durability of these consumables and also the true nature of these well, vacuums. I don't try to use a brand new filter because that might obscure the results. I try to use filters that have been used and it's recommended to change out the filters and the consumables three to six months depending on the life of the material. And don't worry, the robot does have the ability to keep track of all these consumables. For the pickup challenge, I'll just do hardwood floors and some medium to low profile carpet. Shouldn't be a problem for the Roblox. With all my testings, I try to make it as fair as possible, so I clean up after each run. So you may notice that the robot did an odd kind of 360 spin right there. Well, it thought there was an object right there. With the reactive AI system, it actually tries to remember objects from the previous run. So that's kind of like what the Roombas do. It's called imprint link, where it remembers objects over time. So Roblox is going to implement this on its new robot vacuum. So the robot is running at 2500 pascals. Also, it's doing this run twice. So we'll see how well it does. I always recommend having the robot do two runs so it picks up any dirt and debris that it's scattered on the first run. One thing to note is the side brush is speed sensitive. So that's a nice plus. Salt cleaning completed. Pause. So the S6 Max V is louder than the original S6, around 68 decibels versus 58 decibels. So that's just one thing to consider. I always recommend running the robot on low to medium power if you're trying to run this at night. With this new processor, it seems like it's more power efficient because it could achieve 180 minutes versus 150 minutes, but using the same capacity battery at 5200 milliamp hours. With this longer battery life, it equates to about 2580 square feet according to the website. Also, has a smart recharge resume. So if the robot can't finish up the job, it will actually go back to the charger and determine how much power is required to finish the job and only charge up to that point. Roblox redesigned its side brush. Instead of having bristles this time, it actually uses silicone. This is found on the S6 and S5 Max models. So with this newly redesigned side brush, it's more durable. I have noticed that the side brush does really well holding up, even after like 6 months of use. And also the side brush is speed sensitive. So along the baseboards, it actually spins up. And in open areas, it slows down. So with this latest model, I did notice that the side brush spins faster than on previous models. Also, the stalling issue isn't really a big deal because once it does stop, the side brush does pick up within a few seconds. Hopefully down the road, Roblox may consider a dual side brush system because that's still my favorite type of side brush. I like the dual side brush like on the Ecovax T8 or like something on the 360 model. Bathroom rugs have always been a challenge. Uh, best thing I've done is just take them outside and just shake them off by hand. I have tried vacuuming up with a stick vacuum or an upright vacuum, but they always tend to stick to it and it's really hard to uh, vacuum up. 
even with the robot vacuum they tend to get lifted up so they lose a lot of their suction. Okay, let's talk about some of the cons. I think the biggest con was the carpet ability. Didn't do so well cleaning up the dirt and debris off the carpet. I did notice some beads and some of the black rice still left on the carpet. I suspect this is due to the limitation of, like upright vacuums where they can achieve 100 CFM, these guys usually max out around 20 CFM and the Pascals max out around 3000. Also with this type of extractor bar design, bristles and silicone, they do tend to wrap up hair and this is no exception. So luckily Roborock solved the solution by allowing the end caps to get removed so it does make cleaning fairly easy. But that's just one thing to remember, if you have long hair it will get wrapped around the extractor bar so it will require more maintenance than usual. I do like that Roborock provides a cleaning tool which allows maintenance really easy and it also stores within the robot. Also. One thing to notice the E11 filter system is washable and also the dustbin is washable. So that's a plus. Most raw vacuums filters you can't wash them. So it makes cleaning very easy. Whoa, I think the Roblox is taking over my table here. Where am I supposed to eat? Hmm. Okay, so the S6 Max 3 takes some design elements of the S6. Also some design elements of the S5 Max. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about that. You can see that the S6 Max 3 has a 3 byte layout, same as the Roblox S6, but the S5 Max only has 2. That's something that Roblox went with the S4, also the S6 Pure. So one thing to know is if you hold down that home button for 3 seconds, it does enter spot mode like the other robots can do. You have the pressure LiDAR sensor. Keep in mind that after a certain production date, the S5 Max does have the pressure sensor on the dome. They're all LiDAR based. And let's go ahead and uh, show you inside the robots. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the lids. Flapping lids, yes, that's our term I just made up. And you guys can see inside the lids, you would be hard pressed to find any design changes between the S5 Max and the S6 Max V. Look at that, it's basically a clone of each other. Dustbin, yes, they're interchangeable. Dustbin removed. Dustbin installed. Bingo. And they also have the same cleaning tool. shape of the S6, you can't change it between the S5 Max or the S6 Max V. So that's one thing, and there's some slight tweaks between the S6 and the S6 Max V. The quick look at the wheel of the robots, you can see that the S6 Max V and S5 Max V have the same water reservoir. Yes, let me show you. Here you go. I'm going to swap them out for you guys. Yep, they're interchangeable, so I'll definitely uh, try that out. The S6 Max V gets the upgraded stereo vision system, whereas these guys use an infrared sensor. Um, they do a pretty good job slowing down when they detect objects. Keep in mind, like black objects or reflective objects, they do rely on the bumper sensors, but the robots are pretty gentle and they have a rubber bumper on the bottom to help avoid scraping and damage to your furniture. Let's go ahead and look at the design changes. So the S5 Max is the only one with only four clip sensors. Whereas the S6 bottles have 6 clip sensors, everything else is about the same. They have the front wheel caster, the charging contacts up front. They also have the same interchangeable extractor bars and extractor covers. Also the side brushes are interchangeable. Lastly, if you look at the S6 Max V and the S5 Max, they actually have the interchangeable water covers. And also the exhaust fit and speaker system is in the exact same locations. Now you can save up to 4 different maps and the mapping process is very similar. One thing to know is you can use pin to go on the right. Like the S5 Max interface, it's very similar where you can save different water levels and vacuum levels for each room. So the Mi Home app and Roblox app's interface is very similar, there's just some minor tweaks. So if you compare the settings to the S5 Max and S6 Max V, the only major difference is the camera functions where you can enable the camera and also enable pet details. With the reactive AI, it actually shows up a percentage of what the icon is and how likely it is the icon due to its camera system. I like this feature because over time it should get better, so maybe in the future, recognition will be 100%. So maybe down the road via a software update, Roblox can implement a feature where it gives the user an option to clear the objects and clean up the entire floor again. Ecofax has this option. So everything else is about the same, get the room select, area select, also have keep out zones, no mopping zones. Now here's the S5 Max update, so feel free to pause so you can read about the new update. Okay, so I have the S6 on the right, the S6 Max V in the middle, and the S5 Max on the left. 
Now notice that both the S5 Max and S6 Max V are the same and the Roebuck S6 uses a gravity fed system. Now it's a very unique system where it has the water reservoir and also a mechanical switch. Okay, let's look at the electronically controlled system. So instead of having water droplets, you actually have springs that apply some pressure down. And look at this water tank, it's 298 milliliters of water versus 140 milliliters on the S6. Just fill up with tap water and you're good to go. Once you filled up, just apply the mopping plate and the mopping pad. So I found that the Roborox mopping system is pretty easy to use. It's held on by Velcro and you get disposable and washable mopping pads. Okay, so these Roborock hybrid systems are designed for light mopping duty, but they do pick up some dirt and debris that can't be vacuumed up. So if you're looking for a good hybrid mopping system, the Roborock isn't a bad choice. Also, the four water levels and vacuum levels is a nice plus. Despite me just recently vacuuming the hardwood floor, you may notice some dirt and grime on this fresh mopping pad. So it does work, it does pick up the dirt and grime. Also, the water reservoir covers a large area much water is left after just covering 300 square feet or so. So since these are washable, all you do is just roll them up, toss them in your washer and dryer, and you're good to go. Now if I could just get something that can fold my laundry for me, I'll be good to go. Whoa, did I just get two Roblox S6 back series? Nah, I'm just kidding. So here's the EcoVac T8, so stay tuned for this video. We're going to do a head-to-head -head challenge. And thanks so much for watching, subscribing, like, dislike my videos, and stay tuned for next time and be safe out there.